The foxes are guarding the hen houses. Well, now's the time to get those foxes put away. I'm Patty Handysides. A comment in a moment. Now a comment. Windsor's newly hired Auditor General has been kicked to the curb. He says he doesn't know why, and nobody who did the firing is really talking. So is there any wonder that steam's rising from the residents of Windsor, grumblings that something else must be going on? It's the nature of the beast. You know, I'm a big booster event. When I remember when the city had the option to buy it. When the province put utilities on the auction block, it could have gone to some company out of California who would have speared it off with the profits and let our hydro system go unrepaired so that we, like so many in Michigan can be in the dark for days or even weeks after each storm. I'm glad the city took it. They kept the expensive maintenance work going. But it's not how it works that's in question, rather where the money goes. Rumbling some taxpayers have been getting louder, wondering if Mayor Eddie Francis has been able to pass zero increased budgets on the back of rising hydro bills. Have those hikes been used to make it appear that the lid's being kept firmly on the city budget? If that's not the case... Just show the books. With the continually haunting specter of corruption from the Kwame Kilpatrick regime, the perilously close bankruptcy of so many cities and towns, charges laid against Wayne County executives who are alleged to have shaken down contractors, even the newest revelations of Ontario's Orange Air Ambulance Service, millions of dollars shuffled into secret accounts, allegations of huge loans to its CEO for his house. The taxpayers aren't curious anymore. They're furious. Corruption is alive and well in government. No one wants to believe it could come home to roost in Windsor. But perception is everything. Open the books. Clear the air. Transparency isn't just a word. It's a mandate. That's my thinking. I'm Patty Handysides.